You're on True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about another of my new toys. I parked a long time on 49, so I have a lot to show at the moment. Not enough, but a bit. But before I get into it, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But let's have a quick look now at my new North Cut. This is the other of my new toys. You've seen the um, Vorcher already. And the reason why I could do that, and that's another reason for doing this video, is the time I parked on level 49 before going on to the journey to level 53. The time I was asked in the comments several times on both channels, the time between leaving 49 and uh, arriving at 53 was not that long. I spent much longer time on 49 to save stuff and to mine stuff. And uh, so um, that's the reason why I had two ships immediately after going to 53. And uh, that's a little bit what I want to talk about in this video too. But of course, I want to have a quick look at the North Cut. It's, it's a nice ship. It's an interceptor. And um, so I'm having fun in waves um, with, with the North Cut now. And I'm using it in, in our waves. And so we have it quite easy to do the, the wave events for the wave battle pass. We can have a quick look at the at the weapons as well. You might have seen my video on the um, fi uh, firing patterns. And that's where it's interesting as well, because the, the energy weapons have a charge time of one, a recharge time of one and two shots. And the kinetic weapon has a charge time of two, a recharge time of two, but three shots then. And he's it, it's got two of those kinetic weapons. So it's, from my point of view, maybe a little worse than um, the Vorcher, but the speed is another difference then. If we have a look, it's my, as you can see, it's tier one. But if we have a look, um, the impulse speed is 176 without any speed crew aboard. So that's that's quite okay for waves already. And the warp range is already 314. And that was the, just the first warp drive um, upgraded and still on tier one. So that's another thing I needed for the rest of my missions to get a little bit more warp range on a stronger one. Although I did most of those missions with a 30 million Voyager with the right crews. And you might have seen uh, my, my mission boss crews yesterday. That was the reason why I did that. But that's the point. I did all those missions, or almost all of those, um, before going to level 53. I tr did many of those with my four biggest four-star ship and the Voyager before even going beyond level 49. And I collected a lot of blueprints um, for the North Cut and the Vorcher in those missions already. You get uh, blueprints in those missions. And then I saved faction credits. While I was staying on level 49, I was saving faction credits so that I immediately, with tiny help from, from the Enterprise coin event, um, I just used uh, a little bit of the coins on on the on on the uh, on the rest of the blueprints, but not many. And so mo almost all of the blueprints I could get with the with the credits and the missions. And um, that's the point where I was saying stay on level forty nine for a while because you can use that to um, hoard a lot of things. You need. Tons of par steel. I, I think I spent 20 trillion par steel getting from level 49 to get to shipyard 43. And that's the, the hard point. I talked about this in my Watcher video that Ops 53 is not enough. You have to get to the shipyard, and there is a detour via some dilithium stuff. And um, so you need to hoard a lot of par steel, first of all. Then you have to. Um, 
start mining five star materials because another point for um, the upgrading from 49 to 53 was that you need a lot of uncommon um, five star materials already and as soon as you get to 51 you get the refinery and can refine and I could always refine the full stuff. The refinery is more of a decoration than a real help at, at uh, those levels but still I got some stuff. And I could get a lot of stuff because I could always do the big exchange um, because I mined a lot of five star stuff um, earlier because I already had to do had to mine that for my reputation. And I did that while I was on level 49. And uh, so I collected a lot of stuff. And then um, the rest I collected on 51 when I um, could finally uh, refine that stuff. And so I only went to level 53 when I could build the sh those two ships at least. And that's the whole point of going to 53. At the moment you see something <laughs> that is still happening at the moment. So the game has uh, hung itself up again, but it's not that bad. Um, it's a nice picture, so <laughs> it's, it's not that bad. And there's not, uh, there was only one more thing I wanted to show you. So I will not uh, edit the video at this point. I would just wanted to tell you repairing that thing and upgrading that thing will open another um, path of problems. Because when you are beyond your par steel problem with upgrading um, the buildings, then your titanium problem starts. Because you will be suffering for getting par steel for all the buildings because they are expensive in case of par steel. For some buildings you, you need, um, for the buildings you need hundreds of billions uh, per building, uh, sometimes even more than a trillion for one building. But the that ends when you finally arrive at the at the shipyard level fifty three. If you want to go higher later, you will have to have par steel again. But to get there, you will need loads of that, as I said. But from that point you will think about using your monovine more for getting tritanium. And you should collect tritanium uh, also before you go to that journey because upgrading um, those uncommon five star ships needs billions of um, tritanium and even repairing a tier one five star UC ship costs three billion tritanium. And so that's another thing you should think about collecting. And uh, that's another reason why I did those videos, um, not only to show off, and I'm working on my triple. With the UC ships, I'm, that, that's just me. I'm always working on the triple. I'm working also on getting the Corvus to, to complete my triple, um, as I did at the time with the four star ships, the, uh, at the UC ships. Um, that's just for me to have uh, one explorer, one interceptor, one battleship for the users I need them for. And um, so um, in time, I will tell you when I manage to get my triple. But uh, the point of this really is um, to give you another hint for what to do when you are in 49, um, what really to prepare for, because um, it will be a tough time first getting to shipyard 53 and then working with those ships that were the reason why I went to 53. So save stuff and use the monovine to get a lot of par steel and a lot of tritanium. Um, without the monovine, I don't know what I would do. The, the monovine and the, the exchanges in the monovine refinery are the thing that keep me going. I am looking forward to the next battle pass as well to get a lot of tritanium again. But um, at the moment, um, the monovine is keeping me up. And so that's what I suggest you do to use your monovine. I should have even started earlier getting tritanium and parcel with the monovine um, than, than I did. But the monovine is a ship I didn't have on my uh, on the on the other service that I played before. So um, I also had to get used to it. But the monovine refinery is something you really need to keep an eye on. And the Queen's favors are something you will really, really need for par steel and for tritanium. But now with the <laughs> blocked screen again, I still uh, would like to know what you say about the North Cut, if you have it as well. But of course, 
Um, that was just the introduction of the video, so to speak. Uh, th that is uh, the other of my new toys, which I really like, by the way. But um, what do you think about the journey from 49 to 53, if you um, have been on that journey as well, that will help other players that will get to that point later to really do that carefully? And uh, so your opinion is really, really um, welcome here. But if you also have questions in general or uh, video requests, you know that I regularly read the comments. And if you just want to say hi and where you're from, you know, I really like to know where my viewers are coming from. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.